Hey, thanks for the lift, man. The cab line at the airport was insane. Yeah, well, Thanksgiving. That's Thanksgiving for you, pal. You know, it's pretty nuts this time of year. You ever been to D.C. before? Wait, aren't we in Albany? No, we are. I was just wondering if you ever been to D.C. <laughs> Seems like a pretty wacky place. Got it. Uh, you know, I'm actually just gonna sit back here and drink my coffee, if that's okay. Okay, no worries. Well, I'm actually getting a call. You mind if I take this? No, please go ahead. All right. Hello, this is Matt Gustafson. Hi, Mr. Gustafson. This is Dr. Cassidy's office, and she's got your test results. Is now a good time? Some of the results aren't great. Yes, please. Uh, oh, uh, maybe you want to take that off a of speaker? Oh, no, 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 I don't mind. It's probably just routine. Hi, Mr. Gustafson. Just wanted to let you know about a few things here. Sure. I don't really know if I should be hearing this. So as far as the negatives go, your cholesterol is quite high. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I'm eating a bunch of shrimp and ham right now. But on the positive side, you're positive for herpes. Well, everybody's got that. Isn't that right, pal? I am begging you to take it off of speaker. And lastly, you have something we're calling hepatitis gold. Oh. Hepatitis gold. I like the sound of that. Well, you shouldn't. Okay, what, what if we just let me out on this highway? Sure, I'm sorry. I'm just talking to my doctor. All right, is there anything else? Well, you had also asked me about the ED. Oh, the empty diapers? Oh, I was talking about erectile dysfunction, but if you want, we can skip ahead. Yeah, let's just skip the, let's get to the diapers. We can circle back. So, short answer is the diapers are empty because you're not putting them on. That's why everything is shooting straight into the pants. Sir, do you have a pen? I feel like I should be writing this down. No, seriously, man, this is not okay, all right? So, you have low blood sugar. Well, that's a relief. What is? Well, I thought I had low blood, because I heard it from a sassy southern lady. She said, uh, you got low blood sugar. Yeah, no one who works here talks like that. Agree to disagree. Oh, my God. And uh, going back to the wiener stuff? Right. So we ran some tests on your penis, and it came back negative, like it's negative in length. Okay. Well, that explains them a lot. Or uh, maybe I should say a little. And then, uh, Do not high-five me. Are you sexually active? Active? No, I just got to lie there. All right, you know what? I'm just going to put on a podcast. Pairing with cab driver's phone. What the hell? So just a few more questions. <laughs> I'm noticing you have some missing information on your chart. Can I ask you about your family history? Family history? I mean, mom and dad did it, and then I came out five months later. Five months? That's why they call me Little Squirt. High five. I said no. And how many drinks do you have per night? Per night. What's that, a holiday for cats? Not purr like a cat. She's asking you how many drinks you have in a week. Oh, zero. Unless you're counting rum. Well, yeah. Then a thousand. <laughs> Pull over! Also, your vision test came back, and I'm afraid to say you're legally blind. Oh, like Reese Witherspoon? That is legally blind, you dummy. Uh, hey, doctor, how hard is it to jump from a moving cab and live? That's not my area, but how fast are you going? Um, oh my God, 10 miles an hour? <laughs> you know what, that's it. I'm out of here. I will walk to the Radisson. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. 